Hey Divas, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Keisha here with another video. And today we are going to be budgeting for the second week in July. So if you like budgeting, cash stuffing, sinking funds, saving, challenge, every and all things that have to do with your money, I would love for you to subscribe, but more importantly, don't move. All right, girl, well, we are in the 90 day budget workbook because sometimes your finances change like the season and we are rolling, we are rolling through. So, you know, we did uh, the first week in July, we closed that out. So let's go ahead and keep it going and let's keep being consistent and let's rock out with week two. I'm just gonna fill this info in. And for the second week of July, we're gonna do the July 6th through the 12th. So first things first, for income, we're gonna go straight to our first week closeout number. And it says right here, the amount that I'm rolling over is $4,837.74. Okay, also this week, I'm gonna be bringing in $900 additional income. And I think that's as far as I plan on bringing in this month for income. So let's go ahead and add this up and see how much money we're working with this week. So this week we're working with $5,737. Now, even for my rollover, I know it's $4,837, like 74 cents, but I'm budgeting. I just like to use whole numbers. It just makes it easier for the math. And when I come to the actual, I put the actual like cents and stuff like that. It's just, it's just way easier for me. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna fill out my bills that I'm going to have to pay between the 6th and the 12th of July, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so let's see. So for the second week in July, all of my bills are gonna come up to $1,349. Just a quick, a few takeaways I wanna show you. So for business, I budgeted about $300 for the month, okay? So for the first week for business, I only spent $60.77, which is about $61, cause you know, I just like to round up. So that means I have $239 left. So. I have little things I need to do, like I have an event coming up this weekend. I need to print out some cards, like things like that, that I don't necessarily can capture as a bill. I wanna make sure that I have um, a budget set aside for that, okay? So after I minus my bills from my income, I have $4,388. So now let's bring that down here. I'm not doing any additional savings uh, for my long-term savings this week. So that's gonna be a zero contribution. So we're gonna continue to move this on. So now we're coming over here to our variable expenses. Okay, so I'm gonna fill this in and then I'll get back to you as always. Okay, let's talk about this next section. So a, a variable expense looks a little different for me this week. Let's start with allowance. So allowance is $30, which is just for me. At the beginning of the month, you saw that I gave, well, you didn't see, but um, it was $200 because my husband and I both get $30 a week, but I just gave him his entire month. He rather just gets paid one time and then he don't have to holler at me for the rest of the month, right? But me, I like to take my money every week. That's just easier for me. So that's only my $30. And the kids have not been doing a, a darn darn thing in this house. So they're not getting paid anything. So the kids don't get allowance because they're getting money through fun and all the other stuff. So just $30. For groceries, $214. How did I come up with $214? Well, good question, girl. So... Let's go back to week one. You know that I budgeted six hundred for the entire month, and for the first week, girl, I spent three hundred and eighty-six dollars. So that means for the rest of the month, I'm just going to carry over the remaining balance, which is two hundred and fourteen dollars. So that's all I'm working with this month. Okay. For household, same thing. I budgeted four hundred dollars. I really budgeted six hundred dollars to complete some of the home projects, but I'm trying to, you know, see if I can save money here and there if i have to go over the 400 that's okay i have a buffer but i'm trying to stay within that so last week i spent about 345 dollars 
So that means this week I have $55 left. So we're going to go ahead and roll with that and see if that can work. Okay, um, eating out, $40. And uh, gas, $60. Fun, $100. So fun is $100 because let's go back to the monthly budget. Right here for summer, I budgeted $400. Sorry, you guys couldn't even see. So for um, summer, I budgeted $400. That's for us to do fun activities, etc. So last week, we went to the movies. And I also bought like a, a gift card for us to use at Coastal. So we spent $110. So this week, I'm going to budget another $100 just to do whatever the kiddos want to do. But one thing I did decide to do is that it's been hot. So the kids don't really haven't been going outside. But you know what they have been doing? They've been hitting me up for this Robux and V-Bucks and all these other things. So I'm like, you know what? All right, I'm going to make a fair compromise. I've saved money for fun. If that to you is fun, then it's coming out of there. Okay, so I'm going to budget $100 for fun. So anytime they ask me for any kind of gaming money, it's coming out of here. Coffee this week, I'm going to do $10. My kids, $53. Again, going back to my original budget of $500. And girl, I really gotta check that because I know I'm just blowing through this budget. Yeah, I've already blown through this budget. So nonetheless, I have $53 left. And I can tell you right now, I have already, I can already see that I have been blowing through this budget. Mainly because my daughter's soccer uniform is a little bit more than I anticipated. Anyway, $53 this week. Shopping for me and my husband, I budgeted $200. We only spent $11 last week. So I have $189 left. Same thing for miscellaneous. I budgeted $100 for the month. So I have $96 left. I spent $4 last week. And for beauty, I budgeted $160. And I spent $145. So that means I have $15 left. Okay. So that's how I got to my $862 this week. So now let's go ahead and move down to my sinking funds and savings challenges. So we have, I'm sorry. So now the variable expenses minus, minus my remaining budget, we have $3,526. So we're going to bring that down here. Okay. Now, since we're getting so close to school, the only um, sinking fence I'm focusing on this week is my back to school. You're going to see... Um, me move into and I showed you guys in the other video where I have new items in my shop I moved into a new back to school binder so I need to get that rolling so what am I going to be stuffing for back to school um, I think I said I was going to do 250 okay Okay, so with the back to school being $250 minus my leftover budget, I now have $3,276. So now I'm just going to roll that down. So I am going to, I'm not doing any additional debt or savings this week. Every month I challenge myself to do something like pay off extra debt i believe that was one of my goals right pay off an extra 1000 which i do want to do but i need to make it through the month like this is only the 6th through the 12th so i would do that probably at the latter part of the month do these extra things that i'm pushing myself to do but girl i need to make it through the month okay especially with these kids going back to school so So that means I'm rolling over the entire amount. Meaning I have zero dollars left over. So I have a zero base budget here. So now I'm gonna come over here to the cash envelope side because I am a cash budgeter. So some of these variable expenses I do need cash for and some of the back to school and the back to school that I'm gonna be stuffing, I need cash for that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out and then I'll be back to walk you through our final step for week two of July. All right, girl, I am back. So as always, you know I had to make a change. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through. So everything is everything here. I have my allowance, my household. So even though for um 
for a household, I budgeted 55. I'm only taking out 40 bucks because maybe I'm in Home Depot or something, whatever. I don't I don't need to have $55 worth of cash for household. So I'm gonna do 40 bucks. But groceries, you see, I don't have groceries here because I've already kept my groceries in my envelope. Hopefully you guys have seen my cash unstuffing. I'll be sure to link it down below so you can see like what I unstuffed from week one. So I had $214 left in cash. So I don't need to add any additional cash. Um, I did make one change for eating out. It was 40, but I bumped it up to 50. And that's because we didn't eat out the previous week, which is fine. But this week I said I might treat them to something like Chick-fil-A girl. And you know, you have to bump your money up for Chick-fil-A. So anyway, I have $50 here for that. Um, everything else is the same. So gas, so for fun, I'm only taking $20 cash. The rest I'm leaving in the bank because like I said if they want to buy any kind of video games and stuff like that sometimes it's easier just for me to they could just do it off my card straight from the gaming console right coffee miscellaneous again I have $96 but I'm only carrying $10 worth of cash beauty I'm gonna go ahead and take that $15 so back to school so sometimes I do this breakout separately and then I just put back to school and I break out all the denominations anyway I decided just to write down all the categories in my back to school binder which is right here if you haven't seen it before and um, I just decided to break it down easier especially since my budget is so tight now 250 isn't tight but what I need to pay for is tight because um, I still need to save for my son's football um, fee which is $500 so I need to save 167 this month and then it's due next month in August so I'll just add the additional 167 and school supplies we've done really good with the school supplies I'm just gonna add an additional $30 um, which I think I hope I'm not going to use but I just want to have that so um, these two big ones that are due this month or the next coming weeks, I wanted to make sure I was able to meet those goals. So everything else is just getting $5. I'm not even stuffing like two of the envelopes because it's not a priority right now. But anyway, when you see that video, you will see that. So how the budget workbook works is now that we have all the denominations that we need, we're just going to go ahead and tally them up down here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so for the second week in July, I need to get $485 out of the bank. And um, I feel like it's my telescope from last time. So I need to wipe it off so we can use it again. Hold on. Okay, clean as a whistle. So now let's just write down these denominations and we ready to rock and roll. So we need... Okay. All right, so this is what I'll take to the bank, get the cash out, and then we'll be able to do my weekly cash envelope stuffing. Then I'll be able to do my back to school cash stuffing. And we're all set, girl. So we're ready for the second week in July. About the time you see this video, it might be a few days late, but nonetheless, your girl got it done. It's about being consistent. It's about getting it done. So hopefully you divas are on track. You are crushing your July goals. It's the middle of the year, mid year reset. Do whatever you need to do to get your finances on track, whether it's getting the 90 day budget workbook or doing something else. I think I'm still running a special where I'm offering 10% off of everything in my shop. So you can uh, click the link down below and use the coupon code Christmas in July and go ahead and get, get, it, get it going, girl. It's never too late to start, all right? So if you stay to the end, and you haven't done so already, I would love for you to subscribe. It means so much to me. And like always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.